Yes, let us take up this problem. Let me read out the problem for you first. The cross section of a cast iron beam is shown in the figure. Determine the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. Okay, centroidal axis they have given. That is plural. So, centroidal x axis and centroidal y axis. You have to find the moment of inertia. Okay, now let us solve this problem. I have solved here. I have taken. Yes, I have divided it into the three areas. That is one is semicircle, two is a rectangle, that is rectangle 2 and this one rectangle 3. First we have to find the area. Area of semicircle pi into 6 square r square by 2. So we get 56.54. For the second rectangle, what is the area? 4 into 12, that is height is 12 and width is 4. So 4 into 12, 48. Then third rectangle. This area is 24 into 4, that is 96 mm square, rectangle to 48 mm square. Next, we have to find the distance from the axis 1, 1 or from the base of centered of each area. So, first let us take this semicircle, okay. It is 4r by 3 pi, distance of centroid, okay, in this semicircle from this line, right. So, this total distance is 4 plus 12 that is 16. Then centroid is over here. So 4r by 3 pi that is 4 into 6 by 3 pi plus 12 plus 4 16 we get 18.54. Then for rectangle it is at half the distance that is at 6. So we get for rectangle 2. 6 that is 12 by 2 is 6 plus 4 10. Then for rectangle 3, it is 4 by 2, that is 2. Then we have to find A into Y, that is area into Y, A Y, it is 1048.75. Then A Y square is, that is A into Y into Y, that is 19450.26. Then A Y for rectangle 2 is 480, for rectangle 3 it is A into Y, 96 into 2, 192. Then A Y square is 384, for rectangle 2 it is 4800. We have to find the total area 200.54 and total AY square is 24,634.26 and total of AY is 1960.75. Next, IX bar and IY bar. Okay, formula is for semicircle 0.11 R raised to 4. 0.11 into R is 6, 6 raised to 4, 142.56. And I Y bar is pi R raised to 4 by 8. So, phi naught 8.93. Then rectangle 2 is B D cube by 12. B is 4. D is 12. So, 4 into 12 cube by 12, 576. And I Y bar D B cube by 12. D is 12 into 4 cube. B cube by 12. That is 64. Then rectangle 3 B D cube by 12. That is B is 24. 24 into depth is 4. So, 24 into 4 cube by 12, 128 and I Y bar that is 4 into 24 cube by 12 that is 4608. Okay. So total sum is 846.56 that is I X bar. I Y bar is 5180.93 total. Now let us find Y bar that is summation of A Y by summation of A. We get 9.77 mm. Then I 11 is Summation of Ix bar plus summation of Ay square. Here in this table we have found out. Okay. Summation of Ix bar is 846.56. Right. And summation of Ay square. Summation of Ay square is 24634.26. Total 25480.82 mm raised to 4. Then Ix bar is I11 minus Ay bar square. So I11 is 25480.82 minus 200.54 into 9.77 square that is 6338.69 mm raised to 4 i y bar is 5180.93 that is what you have got here a few students have commented why i y bar equal to summation of i y bar because this section it is symmetrical about the y axis so i y bar equal to summation of i y bar 
Next is if you want to find the polar radius of gyration that is kz formula is square root of iz bar by a how to find iz bar is summation of ix bar plus iy bar so we have found out ix bar and iy bar so find the summation you get 11519.62 mm raised to 4 now polar radius of gyration kz equal to square root of iz bar by a the total area is 200.54 we have found out so iz bar is 11519.62 so iz bar by a then taking square root we get 7.58 mm because moment of inertia as iz bar is mm raised to 4 divided by area mm square so we get mm square square root of mm square that is unit is mm so polar radius of gyration is 7.58 mm